guys in the part two so in the previous video we had learned how to create a template to display our product page customize it basically and how to go ahead and run a custom query in this video we'll continue from where we left so you can see we've got all the titles of our project uh, products being displayed over here uh, using the WordPress query. In the previous video we had also included the uh, bootstrap files. Uh, just make sure that when you uh, include the files from the uh, GitHub where I'll be uh, putting all the files that, that we're creating in these series. Uh, just make sure that you include this custom functions.php into your functions.php at the end. Great. Um, okay, so we've got this. Now let's go ahead and uh, run some developments so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, close the PHP tag and then reopen it over here so I can write some uh, HTML so we'll say div and then container with a class of container and inside of this we want to go ahead and say div with a class of row sorry row and inside of this we want to go ahead and uh, say div column md we want, remember we want to create uh, three rows of the uh, sorry three columns uh, of the products display so we'll say column md so 12 divided by 3 is 4 so this will be 4 okay and inside of this we will have all the um, title and the thumbnail and all of that information so what I'm going to go ahead and do is basically um, take this loop and put it here, close this and take this part put it down here with the PHP opening tag Great. Okay. Great. I'll just quit, get rid of this title from here. So what's happening over here? We have a container. Inside of this, we have row div. Then we have the div column. So this is basically this part will be repeated, and that's why we have taken it inside the loop because this is the part where we'll be displaying uh, individual products and because we're keeping this inside of the while loop this will be uh, displayed the number of times you have the products in the database great so what do we need here guys let's say so I think the first thing we want to need I want to do is basically display the image of the product uh, so in order for us to display the image let's go ahead and take that in a div and the function that displays the image is the post thumbnail the post thumbnail okay so let's go back refresh the page sure enough you can now see that you've got the um, all the products being displayed with their images great that's perfect um, okay let's get rid of this Okay, the only thing is that I think this is being displayed entirely in the full screen. Uh, we, we may not want to do that. We may want to have a sidebar on the right hand side. So um, what we can do is um, Okay, I think we can take another column over here. Hey okay guys, uh, I don't want to spend too much time in uh, telling you about styling and everything. I do want to do want to save time, otherwise the video is going to be very long. I'll leave the styling bit and the structure bit on you since now you have the code. Uh, okay, so we'll just focus on the functionality bit. Okay, so we've got uh, the image. Now we need the title. So just below this, we'll say PHP tag the title. refresh the page sure enough you've got the title as well okay so we want the title to be in the center so I'm just gonna give it a class bootstrap class of text center 
and let's see if that comes in the center. Brilliant, it's in the center now. Okay, okay great. Um, I think we can probably put a BR over here. No, we don't need a BR actually. Okay, great. Perfect. Okay, uh, so we've got this and uh, Remember, guys. Sometimes there could be possibility that the there would be uh, there would be no thumbnail of the product. So what do we do in that case? So in that case, we have to obviously give a default image. And how do we do that? Uh, I think uh, at this point, what we can do is create image is equal to, and then we'll check if we've got an image. So in order for us to get the image, uh, we'll use get the post thumbnail function of WordPress. The post, uh, post thumbnail echoes the image of that particular product and get the post thumbnail returns it. So we want, because we are storing that information or checking information over here, that's why we are using get the post thumbnail and, uh, and not the post thumbnail. Okay, so this will return some value in case if there's some value in it, we'll check question mark, this shorthand of uh, if statement. Then this value will be equal to get the first thumbnail and if that is not the case then it will be equal to something okay so let's create that something so let's create a default image is equal to image image tag closing tag source and um, <clears throat> I'm just going to use the uh, okay canvas. Okay, so over here you just need to put a, a path of a default image. Uh, in case if you already have a default image in the backend, let's say I'm going to go ahead and uh, okay, why the hell is not working? Okay, I think because I'm not put a semicolon here. That's why. Okay, I'm going to go to backend, go to media. <clears throat> I'm going to add a default image from the internet. So, do you, no image. Images. No image. And save it. Obviously, make sure the size of this image is the same as the rest of them rest of these images okay so we'll go to the, over here add new and just drop this okay I've got that just click over here and get this URL uh, so over here guys uh, make sure you use site URL because uh, sometimes possibly um, you may be uploading on the server so we can't hard code as localhost so we'll use site url which is a wordpress function which returns us the path up until the root uh, url of your site and then we'll say dot and we'll put the path over here so and i'm going to remove the um this part okay great so this is the path up until that particular image okay so in case if the image is not available default image is not available uh, sorry the actual image is not available we want to display the default image so over here we can just put default image so what's happening over here guys uh, this is checking that get the post thumbnail if there is a post thumbnail for that particular product if the user has set the image for the product uh, it's going to put the image equal to uh, the uh, image that has been set otherwise it's going to set it to the default image that we've just storing over here and now all we have to do is just echo out this particular variable which is going to return the image which could be default or the um, actual image for the product okay great now so now if i save it and go back close this and go to our page so remember our page was product shop view this page sure enough everything is working fine uh, let's go ahead and delete one of the images of the product let's see what goes what happens then so product 
edit <clears throat> remove update it go back go to that page product page view it okay we are not getting anything I think there's some issue with the link of that image so just uh, have a look okay okay it's getting twice coming twice WP testing so we need to get rid of the WP testing from here so now let's try it brilliant it's working fine so obviously the the uh, height of the image is not the same uh, but um, you can make sure that the height is the same so I think this is 300 by 400 so make sure that you resize the image so that it is uh, coming over here so I'm going to go back and set that image back to the normal one as it was before so I'll go to product click on edit and change the product image to this one I think that's what it was before, I believe. Great. So what we've got so far basically is um, we've got the um, we've got the image of the product. We've got the name. Okay. Uh, I think what we want to do is basically if we click on it, we should be able to go on the single product page. And in order for us to do that, we're going to use the permalink uh, option. So over here, um, I'm going to ensure that we wrap it up, wrap this image into a, a tag, which is a link tag. So let's say paste it, hrf, and then I'm going to say the permalink. And this, this is a WordPress function, which actually gives us the permalink, which is the link up until that particular item. So if I refresh the page, now this is a link you can see that it's clickable now if you click on it sure enough it's going to that particular product page top three so I click on this one it's taking me to top two and so on so now if I go back and uh, do the same for the title as well because you should be able to click on either of the title or the image you should be able to go on to that and that should work so again PHP uh, echo, no, not echo, the permalink, which is going to display the permalink, and then paste it here, the title. Refresh the page. Sure enough, this is now um, a link, so click on it. It's taking you here. I think I should go ahead and, and change this to an H4, probably. Just want to make it slightly bigger. Yeah, that's better. Great. Okay, great. Um, cool, guys. So I think I don't want to make this video again too long, so I'm going to break it into the third part. In the third part, we're going to learn how to go ahead and create an option of uh, add to cart over here. Okay, great. I'll see you then.